And it uh, looks like porch sitting season has begun. It's a nice, balmy 72 degrees today for a high. Uh, definitely signals porch sitting season here. And the chairs are out here at my favorite porch. Um, and you know spring is here, though it hasn't totally warmed. There's some few cool nights left. It's not time to put the tomato plants out yet. Uh, it's a little too early. Probably in another... Everything looks like it's three weeks late. So uh, probably by, I would say, June 1st, you could put your tomatoes in. Um, it'll be warm enough. Uh, it hasn't been a real lot of rain. It's still river. So far this spring, we've had a cool spring compared to last spring. Uh, but you know, it's spring when uh, Eloise the bowl constrictor came out from the crawl space above the wall in the basement uh, down by the furnace at the Carmignani's house. And um, but she hasn't gone out yet. You know, she's still hanging out down there, making her way out. Uh, it's got to get a little warmer and she'll make it out to the back porch and then to the garden where she likes to sit and try to catch the, uh, her favorite, the, the little bunnies, the squirrels, and uh, chipmunks. And uh, the groundhogs are kind of a little bit too big. And uh, which... Uh, it's caused some serious questions at Sunday school uh, last year because uh, Eloise made her uh, annual trek in midsummer out across town to meet a male bowl constrictor she knows across town, uh, Elwood. And, um, and she was going through the park in town and got a hold of a bunny and was like uh, basically just crushing it and the kids saw this and started screaming and uh, and brought a lot of attention at the playground so they they called the fire department and uh, uh, Louise didn't make it they they, they rolled her up like hose onto the fire truck and brought her back home. So uh, we'll see what happens this year. Um, an addendum to my uh, uh, retirement fine dining. Uh, I'm going to add a, a to 101 uh, sampling uh, excursions. I'm going to add uh, community events. Um, you can do a lot of fine retirement dining on the cheap and for and very good food, a lot better than the dollar menu or a lot of early bird specials. If you uh, pick up local papers and uh, look around for local uh, events this time of year, there are a lot of I just saw a sign for a chili cook-off this Sunday. There is a mission, but there's probably a lot of free samples in the mission. There's probably not that much, and you might be able to get away with taking a bowl or a plate or a container home for very little or nothing. Um, there was a, a church event in the fall in out of town. Uh, was, I don't know if they have it anymore. It was called the Night of a Thousand Pies, which was uh, really the Day of a Thousand Pies. And literally, there were probably were a thousand pies home baked. And the variety was outstanding. And you went to the church community hall, and you could have samples. They put out samples uh, at the different tables. And they had savory pies. Uh, salmon pies, tuna pies, uh, persimmon and pear pies, and uh, walnut 
and pecan pies, and it went on and on. And they did have a luncheon for a very, very reasonable price, which included free drink, coffee, and dessert. So uh, you can make out really good at community events. Uh, this time of year, they're, they're starting to uh, have uh, all in parks and small towns around Still River. You can go and... Uh, there was a, a blues festival out of town last year, and it also had uh, uh, a food area, which a lot of local restaurants and fine eating establishments were just giving out free samples of some very fine food. Though you had to pay admission to the blues festival, uh, the samples were extremely good. Um, also, uh, there's also uh, things you can do to eat fine out for very little besides early bird dining. Um, sometimes you can volunteer at these community events, which comes along with a lot of different perks you may not be aware of. A lot of it is being able to eat for free food and take home items after the event is over that they don't sell or want to get rid of. Um, some of the food items are very good. Uh, I got a big loaf of walnut bread from a church uh, uh, bake sale because I got there and it was just closing. And, uh, and the guy he said, here, have a loaf of walnut bread. And it was homemade. It was very good. So. Uh, Keep an eye out to, to community events, make your list, get your iPad out, your iPhone, or your pencil and paper, and look at local papers, and uh, peruse these small towns, and uh, you will see a lot of events starting in this porch sitting season. Uh, this is the old guy, and uh, we're out here porch sitting.